How's it going? So I thought I would just talk to you about some of the things that I have bought and been using this week because I've been really enjoying them and you know I love watching these videos and I love shopping. Um, so I recently had some colour or some more bleach put through my hair and when I was at the hairdresser they gave me a bottle of Olaplex number three. Now I've obviously made a video about Olaplex before. I'd used it when I'd had damage before and then since then they've obviously bought out loads and loads of products and I actually wouldn't and haven't purchased number one and number two. Um, previously I've been able to do that on Amazon although one and two is for sale on you. Yeah, I took this home and I just started using it. You get a hundred mil and I think it is around about the 20 pound mark. You can get it anywhere. You can actually get it on Amazon. I mean, what can't you get on Amazon really? But obviously all the usual spots like look fantastic, feel unique. Um, I've actually just reordered this and I bought this on Amazon, so it's the cheapest place to find it. This is the number two. Excuse me. Butter fingers here at your service. <laughs> so yeah, I bought number zero. I'd seen it come out a while ago and I was just like, oh, that would solve my number one and number two issue because the main reason for getting number one and number two were because they had such a high concentration of the active bond building ingredient that helps to repair your damaged hair. So yeah, so the main ingredient was why I'd bought the one and two that had the highest concentration. But this, when I looked into what's in number zero, um, I'll just try and show you. So the ingredient section is so tiny and it's basically just that Biz and ingredient that is the bomb building magic with a little bit of water and then one other thing. So, you know, this is pretty pure. I don't know the exact concentration, but again, the main ingredient is the second one on the list. Um, in the number three, the ingredients list is a little bit bigger, and I think towards the end, so right at the top, we've got the main bomb builder. And then towards the end, we've got some like seed oil, some aloe leaf juice. So there's nothing really harmful in here that I would be worried about. Um, you get a little bit more product with the zero. You get 155 mil versus the 100 mil. But as always with Olaplex, we're just talking such tiny amounts. And I've definitely talked to you in hair videos before like my hair versus this teeny tiny bottle. <laughs> I think I've used this mm, three times since I had my hair coloured. And actually it's a little bit fuller at the moment because when I was running out of it and I'd ordered the one to just get some serious bomb building hit back in the hair structure, I just have been squirting it in here to make this go further and I found it a little bit easier to apply them together in order to kind of like eke more out. You know when you just put, um, I don't know if you've ever had to do this, put like water in your washing up liquid or your soap when it's running out and you just don't have enough and you haven't been shopping yet. So that's sort of what was happening here. and. Again, when you're applying it, this is really easy to apply because it's just sort of like a glue. Um, so it's not going to like soak your clothes or anything and you can just smooth it through. But it will obviously, if you have a lot of hair, it's going to disappear really, really fast. And because there was so much uh, bleach at the top, I couldn't just get away with putting it on the ends. I needed to go like root tip to saturate my hair in the product. So that's my tip if you have a lot of hair and a lot of damage uh, by both. I think I found, I think I got 12 pounds off. I can't remember what it was I ordered them on, like justmylook.com. And I was using that little shopping function on Google 
was, they were selling them together in a bundle and it was cheaper than anywhere else on the internet and delivery was free so you know that's always like a really beautiful treat when you get free delivery you know spend like 39 pounds on something but damned if I'm paying the 3.95 delivery like I don't know why such a cheapskate because obviously the person that does the delivering absolutely deserves to get paid like it's not the stalk that drops my packages off it's a human and you know they're really important but yeah I, do, I just even though I know that I still don't like paying for delivery uh, so yeah I guess the company is paying for the delivery out of the profits they're making from what they're selling um, I'm going to stop telling myself so I can sleep anyway. Um, the reason I found it hard to apply, so give you this really, I think I was using a spray bottle um, when I was using the number one and this does give you like a, love. I don't want to tip it out because it's going to go everywhere, I don't want to waste these expensive drops of magic, I've like squirt out in quite a nice, uh, way but it's a really thin like shoot that comes out so I was just finding it impossible to saturate my whole hair like it said and that's what led me to mixing it with the goopy number three to get that easier application where I could just go through section by section now I was leaving it on for as long as it took to dry, like three or four hours. I think I just cleaned the house. One night I think I actually slept with it and then I was using my Aveda conditioner, the botanical repair one, that costs like, I don't know, the price of diesel. Um, in a similar position. You just need to invest. Uh, yeah, so this is where we're up to with hair. Now the next thing I have been buying this week and really loving is from my whole, like literally my favourite place in the whole world, RHS, I think that's the Royal Horticultural Society Garden has opened up near us and oh my god, like who is that girl that just used to go clubbing all the time and wear like six inch heels and she just loved nothing more than partying like that girl just loves to walk around beautifully constructed gardens and sit by these like insanely beautiful lakes and eat salad I mean that's still me like that part hasn't really changed. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. I think someone's streaming. <laughs> Oops, uh, if you can hear that, then, you know, people have to do their garden. I'm going to this, this RHS, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll just pop some pictures in so you can see what I am fangirling about. The beauty. Guess what? The garden has a shop, and I don't know. Like, did you guys ever read or watch Confessions of a Shopaholic? You know, like Becky Bloomwood. I mean, she's my spirit animal. Like, whenever I read anything that Sophie Kinsella wrote, I'm always just like. Here are my people. At the shop, wow. If the garden was great, the shop is also great. I mean, I'd still prefer to be outside, but it's just a really lovely way to end your lovely afternoon that you spent walking around in the sunshine, looking at all the beautiful pink and purple flowers, or like, I'm not gonna say frolicking through the woodland, but you know, why not? Frolicking through the woodland at one of the two lakes or the water features, or getting yourself like a nice cool drink and sitting there and just loving life. Start with this uh, diffuser. 
So it is Wild Fig and Saffron, and it's from a brand called Plum and Ashby. Now, I'd never heard of them. Um, still made in England, which is quite a novelty for us. Like, as a country, we just import everything from, like, strawberries to prawns. Um, sustainable. Okay, so Wild Fig and Saffron Reed Diffuse. So you get 120 mil. And this was a really timely find because all through, so since Black Friday, I bought, I think I bought, ended up buying two Reed Diffusers. One of them's up there, like from Espa. And definitely I'd say after about the four month mark, like I stopped being able to smell them. Um, but they look really pretty, so I've not bin them and I hadn't obviously replaced them. Here we go. This is what happened in the shop. Oh, that is just beautiful. Now, it's actually to me, it's a really masculine smell. Now, I love scents. I mean, who doesn't? I just absolutely adore scents perfume, smell of food, you know, we all love nice smelling things. Mm. But this is just delicious. Like, I don't really want to drink it, but I just want to rub it like all over my body and then just kind of like waft around and just like glide past people and have them be like, oh, what's that smell? And they're like, oh, it's me. <laughs> so I just spilt my reed diffuser all over myself. Mm. It was literally that nice that I was just thinking, this is what I want. Every time I go in one of our bathrooms, I just need this beautiful, calm, like enjoyable smell. So it fell into my basket and here we are, you know, it's not like unappealing to look at. It's probably not as appealing as the lovely like white and silver Esper one to some people, but come round and smell this and just enjoy, enjoy this smell. It's lovely. I wasn't just one. So as I was going on my like lovely little trip around the shop, I then found another one. I couldn't decide which one I preferred. So this is Vet Eva and Lavender. Vetvia and Lavender. If you know how to pronounce that word, then, you know, I'm really pleased for you. Well done. I'm just not that educated in sense. It's not a word I've ever heard before. Now, normally I'm really not into Lavender. Like, it's just not my jam. Again, I think I've spoke about this before, like a much more vanilla-y kind of person than a lavender-y kind of person. Oh, but whatever the Vetvia is, it's not giving me like lavender sleep vibes. It's giving me this like, mm, just dreamy, smell absolutely dreamy and I did go to Jo Malone because obviously like you know you think about posh or long lasting like luxurious diffusers home scents home fragrance you think of Jo Malone and I did smell the pomegranate noir Dan didn't like it I was all right with it but it wasn't enough like I just didn't love it enough mmm but yeah, I'm really, 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 really pleased with this. This will go in one of the upstairs bathrooms. And I just can't wait to go in and have a bath and get like a hit of it. Or brush my teeth in the morning and be like, ooh, yummy. Yeah, it didn't end there either on the smell front. Um, I also found this really beautifully packaged um, diffuser. So this one is going in my bedroom and it's going to replace, oh, I can't remember what I had. 
which is the fragrance. I think I had Soothing to help me sleep. Now this one is from a brand called Stone Glow Candles London and it's white tea and mint. That's the scent. It's gonna say flavor again. But you know, try and be grown up about this. It's a scent, not a flavor. It's obviously not edible. But yeah, oh my God. I mean, this is beautiful, isn't it? Just like blue glass, kind of ombre look. And it's a cute little gold top. I wonder if I'll be able to get on this one. Oh, I could lose a nail. Hmm. Oh, I'm not getting in there. Tweezers or something. But don't worry, I'll still sniff it in front of you, even though obviously that's not gonna help you. Oh, a little bit's coming out. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I love this one so much. And obviously the escape word, the sweet tea and mint, very refreshing. And I just thought, do you know what? This is exactly what I wanna smell in my bedroom when I'm coming in getting ready for bed, I'm about to go to sleep, I'm trying to like switch off from whatever's happened that day, I just want that escape. So yeah, I bought the candle as well. Now, oh God, this one I would eat, definitely I would eat. I don't know if it's the mint, or the sweet tea, but it is beautiful. Now, the reason I ended up getting the candle was because I love the smell, but also the way they'd set the things out in that shop. I'm gonna insert a picture. Um, I think we've ordered some of these that they've not come yet. They had them in these little like candle jars. Uh, so it's obviously like a brown base and then a glass top. And it just gave me like Beauty and the Beast vibes. You know when Belle has the rose, or maybe it's Beast that has the rose and the petals are falling and it's in that gorgeous jar that she's not meant to go in. I'm pretty sure she goes in. I just loved how that looked. I'd never seen candle jars before. Um, and when it arrives, perhaps I'll like put something on stories or something and just show you, because it kind of has like a little hole in the base like a little bit of room and I don't know if like the candle smoke comes out the hole and maybe like something smoky happens in the jar or you know I need to read the instructions because that might be a fire hazard maybe it's just you put it over your candle so it looks really gorgeous and has a little house and you're not actually meant to, you're actually meant to take the top off when you burn the cat I don't know you know as I said, it just looked great and it worked. But you couldn't buy them, so this was the point. Like they set all their candles out really beautifully. You like lift the lid off to have a sniff, fall in love, and then I took the um, display candle jar to the till and was told that I wasn't the first person. Apparently, another woman had also done the same thing, um, and they're not for sale. But don't worry about it, because I'm gonna get it myself. Oh, just one more thing. Um, I don't know if anyone's interested in this, but I really like this outfit, so I'm just gonna show it to you. Um, so it's from Jim King, and it's obviously like a big flag T-shirt, but then it's got these uh, matching shorts that also say Jim King on the thigh, and it's just really, um, comfortable in the hot weather. Um, I also got this in another colour actually. Sorry, I've not got uh, invisible pants on today, so excuse my VPL. But yeah, I thought you might like to see this. I know they've got lots of colours on the website and I just find it so incredibly comfortable. Again, when I'm working from home, it's pink, so that's always quite lifting when I'm getting dressed that I'm lucky enough to be able to wear what I want within reason. Like I still have to go on Zoom calls and stuff, but it, 
no one's put in any restrictions about us having to wear like formal office wear the way that we used to. So I hope that doesn't change because I'm just really loving wearing comfortable clothes at home. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!